Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today I'm going to be continuing through the book called Grace Laced, and this is continuing on in the winter season, and today's word is lean. And we're just kind of exploring the character of God through these words. In addition, I'm also trying out my new Inktense pencils that I got for Christmas as well. So this is the book Grace Laced. It has winter, spring, summer, and fall. We did dwell last time. We're doing lean this time as we explore God's character. So here is the lesson on lean. Aren't these beautiful, beautiful watercolored pages? It's so inspirational, the artwork that Ruth has included in this book. And this is what I'm responding to. I will trust you, Lord in what is reasonable and in what is unreasonable. And this is a piece that she did. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And so I'm going to be responding to her little questions at the end of the lesson here, as well as using a verse that she mentions as a springboard. So as you can see, I have a great set of Inktense blocks. They're one of my favorite things to use. And I also asked for a set of these Inktense pencils for Christmas because I wanted to try them out and really see which one do I prefer. Do I like them in block form? Do I like them in pencil form? And I'm going to let you know what my thoughts are today as I work with them. This is my first impressions of the new pencils. But first, I'm just adding some words here. What a powerful name it is. And this is from a song that I've been listening to a lot recently. What a powerful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus, that worship song that is um, seems to be quite a popular one lately. But as I was reading Psalm 9, verse 10, which is the verse that was shared in the book, it says, And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. So having to do with this idea of leaning, who do you put your trust in? And it says that the people who know his name put their trust in him. So I thought there has got to be truth to this worship song about what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. So I'm going to be doing some rainbow fake calligraphy here on the words powerful and name. And so what I've done is just picked out a rainbow of different colors of these pencils. And again, this is my first time using them. So I'm experimenting with them to see how much pencil you have to have to produce how much color when you add water. And these are an India ink pencil. So they're not a watercolor pencil. They, when they dry, they will actually act like they are permanent. If you try to re-wet them, you will have no luck in blending that color around again or lightening the color up. So that's good to be aware of as you're working with them. But they are a wonderful, wonderful medium to use in your Bible because they never, ever bleed through. I use my intense blocks all the time and I just love them because they have a great color payoff without any bleeding, without any damage to the back of your Bible page at all. I will link both of these products, the blocks and the pencils, of course, down in the description box below where I always have all the list of my supplies and everything that you might have a question about. Now, these brushes I also got for my birthday, I think it was, from my husband, and I just got them at Michael's. The one I'm going to be using for this step is kind of a flat one that you can turn sideways and it's really skinny, but you can turn kind of with its whole edge touching the paper and it'll be a little bit thicker. And basically all I'm doing is I'm taking this damp brush and kind of activating the pigment or the ink that has been placed on the page in the form of these pencils. And what I'm doing is following that method for fake calligraphy that we've talked a lot about, which is just thickening up the downstroke. So anywhere that my hand would naturally go in a downward motion on these cursive letters, I'm just thickening that part up a little bit more with this damp brush. So as you can see, the thicker lines are gonna be the ones that my hand would generally go downward in a downward motion. Now this gets a little bit tricky because I'm really using a downward stroke quite often when it's actually an upward stroke if I were just writing the letters, if that makes sense. So I'm always trying to keep straight in my mind. No, this would be an upward stroke, so I'm not going to thicken up that one, but I will thicken up this one. It's going to be 
a downward stroke. And this shouldn't stress you out. You don't have to do it perfectly at all. This was just me kind of being nerdy and playing around with these different colors in these new Inktense pencils. So what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Those people who know his name, that's where they place their trust. That's who they lean on. And I felt like this was such a challenge for me. As I'm working today, I'm thinking about the journaling prompts that were in the Grace Laced book today. And that was just that I will trust Jesus with the things that seem reasonable and the things that seem unreasonable. So I'm pondering that. I'm praying over that. What are those things? What are the reasonable things that I want to trust God with? And what are the things that seem unreasonable that I should trust him with as well? Now, I wanted to also experiment with some of the darker, earthier colors and kind of make this dark background because I feel like the idea of trusting someone is easy if everything around you is really easy, but if everything around you is kind of dark or gloomy or hard, it makes it all that more challenging to decide where to place your trust. So as you can see, I just kind of scribbled on the Inktense pencil color, and then I'm using a round brush to just kind of blend those colors together. Now at this point, I felt like it turned out a little too much like army camouflage for my taste. I really wanted it to be darker and gloomier. And I had a couple options. I could have gone in with more ink tense pencils and done a second layer. And I kind of considered doing that. But instead, I went ahead and dried the page. And while I tried to figure out what to do from here, I used the black ink tense pencil and a wet round brush to create some splatters on the page. And you can see they start appearing. It looks kind of like freckles. And I'm just kind of splattering the wet ink from the tip of the pencil onto the page using that brush. Now I went ahead and grabbed a set of watercolors that you've not seen me use before because guess what? They were also a Christmas present. Can you tell what was on my list? Um, and these are just a new set of watercolors that I was given and I'll talk a lot more about them in a different first impressions video, but I am using them right over the top of the Inktense pencils to really darken things up. And I wanted it super dark because I'm gonna be going in later with a white gel pen to do some of my journaling on this page. And so I wanted this really nice, rich, dark background. Plus, I think it's really cool. It kind of is in complete juxtaposition to this happy little rainbow calligraphy writing that we have going on here. And that's just so true that there is joy, there is power, there is wonder in the name of Jesus. So now I'm going to enter into my journaling time. I will trust you, Lord, in what seems reasonable. So I'm writing reasonable at the top of the page and in what seems unreasonable. So I'm going ahead and writing unreasonable at the bottom of the page. And I'm just kind of trying to think, you know, what does that mean? I'm also gonna take a second here, and this was my previous entry from Grace Laced, and I just wanna make sure that all the pages that I create from this book are sort of labeled the same way. So I just wrote Grace Laced, resting in God's character, and this word was all about leaning. This word was lean. I'm boxing in the verses that she had mentioned in the book, the one that I read to you earlier about those who know the name of the Lord. And then I just wrote at the bottom of the page, I will trust you for, and now I got to think what's reasonable, what's unreasonable. So I've sped this up a little bit because really it was more of a process for me as I thought and as I prayed about what are the things that are reasonable, things that I feel are easier for me historically in the past to have trusted God, things that seem like, of course, I'll trust him for that, but then unreasonable things as well. What are those hard things, those things that just seem so big that I want to go ahead and make a commitment to trust him on those things as well? I challenge you guys with those same questions. So as you can see, no bleed through whatsoever, tiny bit of watercolor seeped around the edges, but that's it. There is the finished page. I hope you've enjoyed this first look at my Inktense pencils. Jury's still out on whether I like them better than my Inktense blocks or not, but they are a great product. Jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. Here's a couple other videos of mine you might also enjoy. Find me over on Facebook. Find me on Etsy. I sell Bible journaling templates to help get you started. God bless you and have a lovely day. Give this video a thumbs up before you go. Bye-bye.